Did you know that Saturn isn't the only planet that has rings? 45 years ago, the rings of Uranus were observed for the first time, and there are other celestial bodies out there that have rings around them. In today's video, we'll tell you all you need to know about ring systems in space. The first person who observed planetary rings was Galileo Galilei. He pointed his telescope at Saturn and saw strange handles around the planet. However, Galileo wrongly assumed that these handles were probably Saturn's moons. Only almost 50 years later, a Dutch astronomer, Christian Huygens, solved this mystery and confirmed the existence of rings around the planet. Thanks to powerful telescopes and spacecraft flybys, we could get a closer look at the rings of Saturn. We now know that the planet has seven major rings, composed mostly of water ice. The rings are named alphabetically based on when they were discovered. From the planet outward, they are D, C, B, A, F, G, E. They have numerous gaps between them, the largest of which is known as the Cassini Division. The rings probably formed when an icy moon broke apart under the influence of Saturn's immense gravity. The most surprising fact about Saturn's ring system is that it's incredibly thin. The major rings have a diameter of about 270,000 kilometers, while their thickness does not exceed 100 meters. That's why when viewed edge-on, they become practically invisible. As we've already mentioned, Saturn isn't the only ringed planet. In fact, all the four giant planets have rings around them. In 1977, a team of astronomers accidentally discovered the rings of Uranus. Originally, they planned to study the planet's atmosphere by watching Uranus occult a background star. However, when they analyzed their observations, they saw that the light from the star dimmed and brightened several times before and after it was eclipsed by the planet. Thus, they concluded that the planet had rings. Later, the rings were directly imaged by Voyager 2 and the Hubble Space Telescope. Currently, there are 13 known rings around Uranus. They are probably composed of water ice. Next was Jupiter. In 1979, Voyager 1 performed a flyby of the planet and detected a system of faint rings. Later, they were studied by other spacecraft like Galileo and Juno. Jupiter has four known rings that are composed of dust particles. They probably formed from meteorite impacts with the planet's moons. Finally, in 1984, the rings around Neptune were discovered by astronomers at La Silla Observatory in Chile. Later, they were directly imaged by Voyager 2. Neptune has five faint and dark rings that are mainly composed of dust and rock. Apart from planets, asteroids can have rings too. In 2014, it was announced that asteroid Chariklo, which has a diameter of about 250 kilometers, has two rings around it. Astronomers also suppose that asteroid Chiron has a similar pair of rings. We know that you'd like to ask, why doesn't our planet have rings? In fact, it probably did have a dust ring in the distant past. Billions of years ago, a Mars-sized planet crashed into the Earth and threw tons of debris into space. However, this debris eventually collected together into the moon we know today, and the ring disappeared. Another option for the Earth could have been an icy ring, but in this case, the planet should have been orbiting much farther away from the Sun, where deposits of ice can survive for longer periods of time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And don't hesitate to ask questions about ring systems in the comments. See you next time.